What's up, guys? Eric from Spike Week here. And today, we're going to walk you through our premium best ball tool called Draft IQ. And we're going to go through all the features that can help you figure out how to become a winning best ball player and talk about why it's probably that tool that you need if you're going to take best ball series this year. First, once you've signed up for Spike Week Premium, which you can access spikeweek.com right here at the top of your screen, just click Premium, sign up there. Once you've got that set up, navigate on over to Draft IQ here in the menu. There's a few different tabs from within Draft IQ. We won't hit all of these today, but the main thing we're going to get into is what we call Draft IQ Main. So you click within there. We do support all major sports that offer best ball tournaments with Draft IQ. Of course, NFL is our most robust product, but we support any and all best ball tournament that's out there on Underdog, DraftKings, or Drafters. So once you click into Draft IQ, you get this screen, our Drafts tab. So there's a lot, a lot going on here. Let's break it all down real quick. This main page in Draft IQ is going to list every player in the player pool based on your rankings. So you see here, I have the 2022 NFL best ball data pulled up. Jonathan Taylor, Christian McCaffrey, Cooper Cup at the top of the list, and a ton of relevant data at a macro level about all these players at the top of my rankings. And of course, you see here at the top, all the different best ball tournaments. I'm currently set on underdog and it's defaulting me to Best Ball Mania 3, but you see all the different tournaments with teams that I drafted into those tournaments, and I can dive into each one by selecting a different tournament. Of course, I can also look at all tournaments. You see 327 teams drafted last summer on Underdog Fantasy. I can select all tournaments and see the total accumulation of all those different teams across every single tournament and the data below. But for now, let's first just take a look at Best Ball Mania 3. You see 150 teams drafted into BBM3 in my draft IQ. If you don't upload rankings into here, don't worry. It comes preloaded with the Spike Week default rankings. You can, of course, upload your own rankings, and those players will be listed in the order that you've uploaded. But really, the point here is that you can see all of this super high level powerful best ball data about the teams that you drafted with these players you see here in this column exposure percentage i can see exactly how much of these players that i've drafted i sort by rank but i can sort by any one of these columns here so i can quickly see the players i had the most exposure to here if you know me you know gabe davis was one of those guys but it's more than just exposure you can see your average adp for these players obviously you see it lighting up in green if you got better adp than what the player finished at but you see the adp column over here gabe davis having a closing adp of 37.6 but in all of my drafts i was averaging a 43.75 adp on gabe davis good for a six pick adp value overall in my best ball mania three teams of course, we know the playoff weeks are very important, so we make sure to keep those in here. But we're also showing you the most recent ADP changes, right? Sometimes players start at a certain ADP and it changes differently from week to week. So we're showing you the weekly ADP change and the total ADP change over the course of the entire tournament in two different columns. Last thing on this page is you may want to know what percentage of your teams you drafted certain players on that have certain structures. So I can see how many teams that I drafted any player on that were a zero running back team or a hero running back team or a dual running back team or a robust running back team. That drafts tab is a little bit more of a high level macro view. See your rankings and see some basic exposure information and information about your best ball portfolio. We can really get into the details in these couple other tabs, starting with exposure. When I head over to the exposure tab, you quickly see here, it's another kind of summary view, but with tons and tons of detail about every best ball team you drafted. I can still search by any tournament across underdog, DraftKings, or drafters, or look at my total best ball portfolio across all tournaments on any given site. On this exposure tab, I can see my teams broken down into tons of different sections of my portfolio, tons of different views. Of course, we have our stacks here. I want to see how many Chiefs stacks did I have? How many Eagle stacks did I have? How many Jag stacks did I have? And I can even click into them and see specifically what are those stacks? This is 2022 data, so you see, interestingly enough, I had eight 
Zay Jones and Daryl Henderson, Jaguar stacks, and eight, Trevor Lawrence and Christian Kirk. But I can see every version, every permutation of every stack that I built quickly and easily in this view. We know that team structures are super important. You may want to be targeting the elite quarterbacks or the elite tight ends. You may be more of a zero running back bro, or you may be more of a robust running back bro. Easily right here, you can see exactly how many of each team structure you drafted. If you're looking at stacks and you just want to look specifically at your quarterback stacks, that's over here in the QB stack section. I can see how many stacks I built with each one of the quarterbacks that I drafted. And of course, I can click into those as well and see specifically what players are on my Patrick Mahomes stacks and how many times did I draft those combinations. And of course, we know the playoff weeks are important. You can see all your different game stacks across each playoff round. And again, if I want to see specifically how many of those Broncos and Kansas City stacks I had last year, which failed miserably, I can look in right here click on it and see oh boy 14 alberto and mvs stacks but i can see every permutation of my chiefs and broncos week 17 correlations that i have in all of best ball mania or any tournament that i've drafted into the last element of the exposures tab which is probably my personal favorite is the fact that you can search for any player or combination of players and it will change your exposure information just to look at the teams with those players on it so let's take a look at the teams that had travis kelsey and maybe gabriel davis you punch those guys into the search and you see i drafted six teams total out of 150 that had gabe davis and travis kelsey on them and i can see exactly what those teams look like i can see what the week 17 stacks look like i can see my highest exposure players that exists with those two players on any given team. And of course, structure and everything else broken down just by the players that I search for. Then last but not least is the lineups tab. When we head over to the lineups tab, of course, again, we see all the tournaments that we drafted teams into, and we can drill down into each one of those if we so choose. And of course, we see underdog drafters and DraftKings, so we can look at our teams on all of the different best ball sites. But this lineups page is, of course, as you guessed it, about the lineups every single best ball team you drafted is here and present on this lineups page you can find any lineup that you drafted no matter how you draft thousands of best ball teams they're here for you and you can find them quickly and easily through different search filter and sorting options that we have for you just like on the exposure tab you can search here for any individual player or any combination of players to see the lineups with that one or combo of players on them. So let's use our example from before and look up the Travis Kelsey and Gabe Davis teams. I punched those two guys in and here are my six Travis Kelsey, Gabe Davis teams. I can look specifically at all of them. And it's more than just showing you the actual lineup. The lineups page is gonna give you everything you need to know about that team. What date you drafted it on, the roster build, the structures, what draft slot it had. Did you get good ADP value on this team? Or did you get bad ADP value? It'll even tell you if it's a fast or a slow draft. And during the season, we have live scoring set up for this. So you can come in and update your scores and see how many points these teams are accumulating during the season. Then within the details of the lineup, you can see your correlations that you have. The players will light up in blue and green when they're correlated with other players on your team. You can see the week 16 and 17 matchups, which again, light up when you have those correlations built into this team. You see blue popping up all over your screen, and that's our QB stacks. When we have QB stacks, those will hi highlight in blue. When we have other stacks, players paired together, but not necessarily with the quarterback, or game stack correlations, you will see those in green. And you can even see within the team how many points you used from that specific player. If you drafted Jalen Hurts, how many points did you use from Jalen Hurts over the course of the season? Did your second quarterback even fit into that lineup? Did you ever use his score? You can find that here. We also have to mention that we give you a quick snapshot into how your teams are doing in terms of advancing or being close to advancing during the season. You see right here, for my total 150 teams in Best Ball Mania 3, I advanced 21.33% of those. You can see that advance rate data for any tournament across any site, but you can also see it for any specific player or combination of players. When I search by Travis Kelsey, you see I have 18 Travis Kelsey teams that I drafted into Best Ball Mania 3, and 22% of them advanced. But maybe you don't want to look at just specific players and filter those teams. 
we have filters under our filter by button that you can search for what pick number you had. If you just wanna look at the picks that were your, when you had the first overall pick in that draft, you can find those teams. If you wanna look for specific roster constructions, AKA zero RB or elite QB, all of that can be filtered down just to see those teams. You can also sort your teams. It comes pre-sorted by your teams that have scored the most points once the season starts, but you can also look at teams and depending upon what place they're in, what date you drafted them on, Maybe you want to see your teams that got the most ADP value over the course of the draft season. All of that can be done right here in the sort section. And maybe you're curious when you see a team that looks really good on your lineups page, how the heck you got that team in the draft. We have a link to the draft board from every single draft that you did. So you can go back and find exactly how every single pick fell to you over the course of that draft. And if you're feeling really good about it, you can click to share that lineup. Go post it on Twitter, post it in the Discord. It'll save a save an image for you that you can just post directly to wherever you want to share that team. And if you ever run into any trouble with Draft IQ, we have a help page. We have frequently asked questions. And of course, in the description to this video, there's a link to the Discord where we have live support waiting for you at all times to answer any questions that you may have about the tool or troubleshoot any issues that you run into. All right, guys, that's it for today. But make sure you use the link in the description to get access to our Draft IQ tool so you can crush your best ball drafts and start navigating your way to the top of these best ball tournament leaderboards for some pretty life-changing money.